The Zimbabwe Senate has passed a bill aimed at an abolishing the death penalty, a sentence that hasn't been carried out in nearly 20 years. The bill now that needs to be signed by the nation's president Emerson Mnangawa before it can become law. Zimbabwe has issued, used my partner hanging in as its method of execution. Also, the last time it took place was in 2005, partially due to the shortages of individuals willing to take on the role of executors. The president has voiced his uh, oppositions to capital punishment, sharing his own experience of being sentenced to death during the independence war, a sentence that later was uh, commuted to 10 years. Amnesty International urged Mnangawa to sign the bill into law without delay and to commute the sentence of more than 60 prisoners in death row. The African Development Bank Group's uh, Broad uh, Directors has uh, approved a $108 million loan to Zambia to enhance uh, the nation's economic government, uh, governance and implement reforms in the essential uh, public sectors. These uh, fundings uh, will uh, facilitate uh, fiscal uh, sustainability and economic resilience for program, a crucial uh, component in efforts uh, to create a strong and diversified economy in Zambia. The program aims to increase domestic uh, revenue generation uh, by supporting several uh, activities, including Zambia's uh, participation in the Global Forum on Transparency and Exchange of Information for Tax Purposes. The Spanish cleaning service workers announced that they will go on strikes in the next few days to demand labor improvements. The workers of the cleaning and garbage collection services of Barcelona informed that the garbage collection will be suspended from 10 p.m. local time on Sunday 22nd and will end at the same time on Wednesday the 25th. The sector's uh, mayor unions point out that these dates coincide with some of the bias, uh, the business uh, periods in the city, my pardon. In this sense, they hope uh, to pressure the, the company's uh, refusal to offer them uh, better working conditions and increase in worker salaries. Thousands of people rallied on Thursday along the streets of Paris to demand for a job show following the call for a general confederation of labor, Solidaird, and the Federation uh, Syndicale Unitaire. The demonstrations uh, take place in the context of a uh, search in a uh, redundancy plans that might result in around 200,000 employees losing their jobs. La CGT avait alerté uh, depuis le mois de mai. The CGT has been alerting us since May about the numerous redundancy plans underway, but we were not being listened to. We warned again last September, including the newly appointed Prime Minister, about 180 redundancy plans, and still, there was no response. Today, the situation has worsened, as according to the CGT's count last week, there were 286 redundancy plans. We are now over 300. This represents roughly 200,000 employees in the country who risk losing their jobs, both directly and indirectly. Today, this low-intensity privatization and the breakup of freight are being implemented. It's our responsibility to warn the public, first and foremost because our working conditions are at stake, and we care deeply about this. I won't downplay the importance of it, but I also believe the public needs to understand that what's happening is significant. The privatization of the SNCF is no small matter, it's not just an epiphenomenon.